This is so sharp. <laughs> so this is the external oblique. Okay? And this is the latissimus dorsi. Okay? Latissimus dorsi, external oblique. Uh -huh. This is the fascia. Okay? And then, using a pro, Then use the finger. So this is the external oblique. Okay. External oblique. And the more dorsal portion of the external oblique. Okay. Bend it. Bend it. The more dorsal portion of the external oblique, you'll find the internal oblique. So this is the internal oblique. Okay. So. If this is the internal oblique, this is another muscle. Okay? What is our third muscle listed on the board? Transversus abdominis. So this is the transversus abdominis. And looking at the linea alba, okay? On either side of the linea alba is the rectus abdominis. Okay? So again, let's identify the four abdominal wall muscle. So from the linea alba, rectus abdominis. Transversus abdominis, internal oblique, and the most superficial is the external oblique. Okay, so look at this. So this is a band of muscle called named the pecto antibrachialis. Okay, see that? So this is the pecto antibrachialis, and the muscle beneath is the pectoralis major. Okay, it's the pectoralis major. And this muscle here is also pectoralis major. So this is the boundary, okay? So you have to closely look at the, the boundary, okay? And looking at the fiber. So this is pectoralis major, pecto antibrachialis, pectoralis major. And then next, if you are to look at the boundary of the major to the minor, from the ma ma minor to CPU muralis. Look at the fiber. So the most posterior pectoral muscle is the CPU muralis. And this is the CPU muralis, the boundary. Okay, the last B muscle. Now oh, this is the pectoralis minor, and this is major. So the major is from here up to here, and then beneath the pectoralis major lies the pectoralis minor. And beneath the pectoralis minor lies the sitting pectoralis. Okay, muscle of the ventral side of the neck. Okay, a large vein, the external jugular vein. Crosses its surface at an angle to the direction of its fiber. Okay? So this is the sternomastoid. So what do you call this vein? Ex external jugular vein. Next is the sternohyoid. The anterior ends of this muscle are visible between two sternomastoids between two, okay? As the latter diverge from the median raphae, slip the raphae of the sternomastoid to the manubrium of the sternum, thus exposing the full neck of the sternohyoid. So this is the sternomastoid, the most superficial muscle on the ventral surface of the neck. Okay. 
between the two sternomastoids is the sternohyoid. Okay? <laughs> sternohyoid is much deeper. Okay? It's a deep muscle. You okay? <laughs> Okay. Again, what's this? Sternomastoid. And in between the sternomastoid is the sternohyoid. Point of reference, sternum. Okay. Cladomastoid. Lateral, lateral to the sternomastoid is a long muscle pass, passing from the head to the upper arm. Loosen this up and find internal to it a narrow flat muscle, the cladomastoid. So you have to loosen the sternomastoid and find internal. So internal to the sternomastoid. Okay. So internal to the sternomastoid and also parallel to it is the clado is a clado mastoid okay? it's a long muscle passing from the head so there from the head to the upper arm okay? next to the left clavo brachialis okay, clavo brachialis the lower part the lower part from the club to the upper okay, this is the this is the clavotrapezius muscle clavotrapezius this is the acromio acromio trapezius muscle scapula point of reference scapula and then this is the CP Spino. Spino trapezius muscle. So the most posterior trapezius muscle is the spino trapezius. The middle point of reference the scapula is the acromio trapezius. And the most anterior trapezius muscle is the clavo trapezius. Okay, if we're going to trace the clavo trapezius to the arm, okay, so this is the clavo, and this is now the clavo brachialis. Okay? Clavo trapezius, clavo brachialis. Now, these two, when considered as one muscle, is called the cephalo brachial. Okay? Next, last here. Okay, it's the muscle of the cheek. Okay, it's covered with a very tough fascia, shiny fascia. Okay? So, you have to expose it. Yeah, therefore, you have to remove the fascia. Okay, so this is the masseter. Okay. Masseter. Next is the temporal. So similarly, it's covered with tough shiny fascia. Temporal method. Okay. Next. The gastric. The gastric is the muscle lying along the medial surface of each half of the mandible. So this is the mandible. So this is the mandible, okay? And the digestion is the one, the muscle lying along, okay? Along the middle surface of each half of the mandible. So this is the digastric. Digastric. It's like a roof. So if this is the digastric, in between this digastric is the mylohyoid. So similarly, this is the sternomastoid. Between sternomastoid is the sternohyoid, okay? So again, this is the digastric, digastric, and this is the mylohyoid. Beneath the mylohyoid is the geniohyoid. So we will cut open the mylohyoid to reveal the geniohyoid. The 
gastric, myeloid, ginohyo. We will cut open the trach uh, sternohyoid through the belly. So what's this? Sternohyoid. Oh, this is a trach, yeah? Point of reference. Sternum, thyroid cartilage, glycoid cartilage, and hyoid. So where do you find the hyoid? Is it anterior or posterior to the thyroid? Anterior. So dito. Okay. So therefore, between sternothyroid and thyrohyoid, must anterior ang thyrohyoid. Okay. And then the sternothyroid since it is found below the thyroid, mas posterior siya. Okay? So, ganito. This is the cartilage. Ito yung cricoid cartilage. Yung muscle on the ventral surface of the cricoid cartilage is the cricothyroid. Ito yung brown. Okay? It's a muscle. Then, laterally, So this is the crico, cricothyroid, this is the sternothyroid, and this is the thyrohyoid. Okay? Thyrohyoid, sternothyroid, cricothyroid. Mopisimus borsi. So this is the latissimus dorsi. The large, flat muscle extending obliquely forward from the middle of the back to the upper arm is the latissimus dorsi. Okay, to the upper arm. A issues, as described a while ago. Okay. The trapezius or the acromiotrapezius, it originates from the neural spine of cervical and first thoracic vertebrae, insertion metachromium process, and spine of the scapula. The point of reference is scapula. Okay. For you to be able to identify the acromiotrapezius. And the <laughs> The posterior trapezius is the spinal trapezius that takes origin from the spine of the thoracic vertebrae and passes of the key forward covering part of the latissimus. Okay? Nagkatabi sila ni latissimus dorsi. The boundary is this. Okay, this is the boundary of the latissimus from the... The boundary of the trapezius, spinal trapezius from the latissimus dorsi. Trapezius, latissimus dorsi, acromio trapezius, left and right side of the scapula, clavo trapezius. The very first calculate the trallies. Along the ventral border of the acromio trapezius and apparently continuous with it is seen a flat band-like muscle with, which passes anterior with diverging from the acromio trapezius passing internal to the clavotrapezius which should be cut across. Take a closer look. So this muscle that pass under the clavotrapezius is the levator scapulae ventalis. Did you see the, 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 the boundary? This is acromiotrapezius. Okay? And this is the levator's ventralis scapulae. Scapulae ventralis. Okay? <laughs> and this is the acromiotrapezius. Okay? Next is the rhomboidus. Cut across the middle of the bellies of the spino 
and acromiotrachesis muscle. A thick muscle will be seen beneath them. Okay, let's put the two hands together. The cat, of your cat. <laughs> so what do you call this muscle? Spino trapecius. Okay, so this is the rhomboidus. Okay. Rhomboidus. Rhomboideus, rhomboidus. The most ventral portion of rhomboidus is a practically separate muscle. The rhomboidus capitis, which extends a slender band forward to originate from the superior nuchal line. So we have to cut open the clavo trapecius muscle to reveal the rhomboidus capitis. So this is the clavo trapecius muscle, right? This is the acromiodel acromiotrapecius and the spino trapecius. A separate muscle, but actually a uh, Okay, it is still a portion of the rhomboideus. This is the rhomboideus capitis. Okay. Linus, a large sheet of muscle covering the back of the neck in front of the rhomboideus is the splenius. In front of the rhomboideus is the splenius. Okay. Rhomboidus, rhomboidus capitis, splenius, clavotrapecius, acromiotrapecius, spinotrapecius. Sub two prize spinatus, infraspinatus, teres major, subscapularis, point of reference, scapula. Okay. Alright class, so this is the clavotrapecius, acromiotrapecius, spinotrapecius muscles. Okay. Beneath the Chromiotrapecius reveals the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, the teres major. Okay? Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres major. We need the scapula, the subscapularis. Subscapularis, supraspinatus, Infraspinatus teres major. 